Okay, I know what you're thinking as a student. Chapter 12 has 21 freaking videos? Really? Yes. Yes, it does. And you're going to have to watch them all. Nah. And not only that, but some of these are time-lapsed. So, you know, we're talking about um, where I am talking about what's going on as it's going on. And I can slow and speed up the video depending on how boring it is. So the first few videos in this series are not time-lapsed. And that's why this has 21 videos because um, the first ones aren't time-lapsed. I didn't, I wasn't able to power through the boring parts. So as a student, you know what I would do is probably use VLC player. And what will happen here, let me show you a nifty workflow for you. Open with VLC player. And you VLC right, player. So now our next mission is to develop a character. And, and let me uh, do something here. Monster like. It's going to be alienistic. Uh, here's what I. So let me turn this down. Well, anyway, you can do this. Um, if you use command and equal sign, you go faster, faster, faster. And you can kind of see what I'm doing without watching the whole video. Okay? Now, if you get lost, though, I would say you're getting lost of your own accord because um, you're just watching my actions but not hearing me talk. And if you use Command minus, you can slow it down. Okay, so that's the advantage of having uh, the stuff on DVDs. You can grab it and throw it in a playlist real quick. I can, like, for example, I can take all of Chapter 12 and open the with VLC player and now what I can do is go in here and just start playing it and it'll go from each one to each one and no matter how fast I go it'll just go into the next one that's very nice and there you go 1202 now That's just a nifty workflow, and if you're a student in my class, you'll have the DVD anyway, but I'm just saying, that's cool. Um, so what we're going to be making is a big, giant alien thing, okay? And we're talking about an alien thing that looks a lot like this. Okay. And this is just a good use of z-spheres, and I teach you to make the z-sphere model like one of the previous lessons. We're going to be kind of using our one that we kind of developed as a humanoid and turning it into this. And then we're going to be sculpting musculature on it, just like we did for that little uh, exercise that I had with the, the three forms. So it all adds up to this. It's just really hard getting you to this stage, no doubt about it. And being that this is 21 videos long, there's a lot of steps to it. In other words, there's a set in here that I do the back legs, the front legs, the hands. And then at the very end, make sure yours doesn't look like mine. I mean, part of the assignment is to actually make one of your own, not like mine. So don't follow word for word, because at the very end, you'll end up with two if that's the case. Now, there's another step after this in the next chapter. And the next chapter is about details. This is about laying the groundwork for musculature. And then the details come when you think about, okay, what lays on top of the musculature? Well, we're talking surface detail. And surface detail is either cracks or crevices, uh, skin pores. Um, it could be scales. It could be anything. But... Don't get too hung up on detail. Follow along how I do it. You know, I, I, I sculpt out pseudo muscles first, not tightening up the forms too much yet. And then I get into really high res stuff where, you know, maybe this back part right here has a surface texture. Okay. Maybe the whole skin tone has a surface texture, like skin pores. How do you do that? And that comes into the next chapter. Also, we're going to run into a problem because sometimes, if you think about it, 
um, this this creature is consists of 14 million polys. You know, even if I get it done, what am I going to do with it? Keep it on my hard drive or keep it in ZBrush as an illustration? You know, I'm really into getting a model out that's uh, friendly enough to go into Maya, and friendly enough to animate, or friendly enough to get into a game engine. So what do you do there? All right. So all all the questions that you need to start a asking yourself now, and um, certainly I'll try to answer most of them within 15 lessons. All right. So enjoy this chapter. It is really long, but you'll have fun.